What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick Hockey here back again with another video. Today, we're continuing the Toronto Maple Leafs 2023-2024 player preview. So if you are new here, make sure to like and subscribe. Today's video is on Morgan Riley, the guy that a lot of people would say the is the unofficial captain of your Toronto Maple Leafs. You guys can sound off on that in the comments down below. But what I do need from you guys is to use my code APH at manscaped you only have a few days left to use my code aph if you were thinking about it before and thinking about supporting my channel using that code and buying something could help me big time uh so use that code aph for 20 percent off and free shipping that's code aph for 20 percent off and free shipping so i want to get into this uh, i know you guys want to get into this but morgan riley probably I, I say this a lot in these player previews, but one of the most important pieces on this team, and it's because this guy is the number one defenseman on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, you guys can go back and forth on whether or not you believe his defensive play is adequate for um, a, a number one defenseman, but he gives you so much offense that sometimes that defense where he lacks a little bit kind of fades off now in the playoffs I think he did a really good job on both ends of the ice he showed his willingness to change up his style a little bit the way he plays uh, he's never been afraid to be a little bit physical he always will get into scrums he'll throw hits I, I feel like Morgan Riley has been very very consistent over his career for the Maple Leafs but this year he needs to take a step and we're going to look at that full blue line and see why he kind of needs to take another step which might sound crazy to some people but he's going to have to. Now, uh, this this is his numbers. So $7.5 million. Of course, he's on that big extension that was signed by Kyle Dubas. He's 29 years old. This is a fantastic deal. Say what you want about Kyle Dubas. But 7.5 for Morgan Riley for what he gives this team. This is a really good contract. He's got that no-move clause. And then in the final couple of years, he's got the modified no-trade. Because there's probably going to be an opportunity to move on from him in those years. If the Leafs do indeed need to move on from him. But... Because the window is still wide open, this is a fantastic deal. Uh, he, you know, he'll be in his uh, mid to late 30s by the time this deal is done. But it'll be well worth it for the production that he gives. And if we're going to look into his numbers here, you can see since coming up with the Maple Leafs, he's been on this team for a really long time. Like he got drafted, he had a little bit of development, but he almost immediately came in to play for the Maple Leafs and has been producing ever since. Now... You can see this past season, 41 points in 65 games. Uh, but then when you look at the playoffs, he had 12 points in 11 games. And Morgan Riley was the definition of clutch uh, in the first round. Like this guy was putting up numbers. He was scoring big goals, timely goals, tying goals. Like he was fantastic. I think Morgan Riley had like truly like a coming out party. And I'm not saying that as like, uh, oh, well, he's already proved himself on this team. I'm saying like as a leader, as like an elite player for this team, it was like a coming out party for him because he's always been good and we've always believed in Morgan Riley. But this was him showing like when times get tough, when we need a goal, I'm going to be there to make a good play in my zone. I'm going to carry the puck out and I'm going to score a big goal. I'm going to knock a puck in. I'm, I'm going to make sure that this team wins the hockey game. And He's done that in regular season games. He's been good throughout his career. We've just seen his numbers. But when this team needed big goals in this playoff, Morgan Riley turned into an elite superstar defenseman. Taking a quick break to let you guys know about the sponsor of this video, Manscaped. Hockey season is coming up, and we all know it's important to stay fresh and protected on and off the ice. And well, Manscaped is here to help us do that. I've got the Performance Package 4.0 with me. I've even got my travel bag and it's perfect for the dressing room. Inside holds the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. It features a cutting edge ceramic blade to help reduce accidents down there using its advanced skin safe technology. It's also waterproof and has an LED spotlight for a more precise shave. Next up is a game changer and that is the Weed Whacker Nose Hair Trimmer. The Weed Whacker is also waterproof and has proprietary skin safe technology. That's gonna help nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate nose holes. You're also getting the Crop Reserver below the waist deodorant and Crop Reviver below the waist toner. And like I mentioned earlier, Manscaped threw in two free gifts with the Performance Package 4.0. That is the boxers and the shed travel bag. Get 20% off and free shipping with my code APH at manscaped.com. That's APH for 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. 
Now back to the video. But when I said earlier in this video that I need Morgan Riley to almost take a step this year, it's because I want to look at his overall game. And with the way that the Leafs blue line is going to be this year, especially since they haven't made a ton of moves and maybe there's still some coming, I want you guys to take a look at TK, which is takeaways, and GV, which is giveaways. Morgan Riley gives the puck away quite a lot, and he's done that over his career. Now, you can see in some years he takes the puck away just almost as much. Now, obviously, that's a bit of a gap, but defensemen usually give up the puck excuse me, quite a bit. But this gap here, uh, especially because the Leafs blue line is going to be a little bit worse, Morgan Riley is going to be playing more than 21 minutes. He's, he's going to have to step up his game a little bit here. But uh, he throws hits, he'll block shots, and of course, this was in less than 82 games. He played 65, so they're going to need him to stay healthy, knock on wood. His points are there. You know, he doesn't take a ton of penalties. He, his time on ice is going to go up, but I really hope that he can improve on his giveaways and his takeaways. We need this guy taking away the puck more from guys and getting it and passing it up because he's an elite playmaking defenseman. They need him to, to really move the puck well this year uh, because if not, this Leafs team is going to be in trouble. And the reason I say that is because the Leafs blue line as it stands currently isn't exactly, you know, fantastic. Now, you can talk about Simon Benoit, but like this guy is, is probably not even going to crack the lineup. Uh, and I know people aren't going to like me saying that, but... The only way they bring a Benoit in is if they scratch Geo and they trade somebody like Timmins. Because as it stands, Timmins is probably going to be the odd man out. He's probably going to be the extra guy that comes in here and there for a Geo. Uh, or Benoit will come up and maybe take some games. But the Leafs' blue line is not that great. Now, the only thing that I do appreciate the Leafs have McCabe for a full season. And whether or not you like him, he's going to chew up some minutes. Klingberg is a pure offensive guy and that's why he's going to get sheltered with McCabe and then Gio and Lilligren like Lily's got to take a big step but this is about Riley now Riley is the standout piece here him and Brody I think they're going to end up playing together quite a bit this year so Riley's going to have that real good offensive season but if this pair doesn't work Riley's going to have to work with guys like Klingberg and Lilligren and that's a huge step for guys like these and Klingberg and Riley would be pure chaos. So I don't know if they'll ever do that, but uh, I, I don't know, maybe a McCabe or something like that. Riley is the piece that's locked in in this first place here. He's the, the number one guy on this staff. So with a weak staff, Morgan Riley's going to have to carry them. And the big news on the in the offseason was, oh, the Leafs are going to upgrade on that blue line. Well, they did offensively with Klingberg, but other than that, a full season of McCabe, sure, I'm okay with that. He's pretty decent. But you're also hoping that he still continues to play at a good level. And it's the same thing with Geo because they're getting older and the way that they play isn't exactly, you know, good for the body. Like, they, they play a little bit more physical. So, uh, Riley's really going to have to carry this staff this year. And while that's a little bit concerning, I honestly do believe in Morgan Riley as a number one guy. And that's why if we're going to be talking about impressing or regressing, I think he's going to impress because he's going to build upon not just his offensive ability, but I think his defensive ability is going to get a little bit better this year. He has to be a little bit more responsible. He doesn't have to hold all the offensive power anymore with somebody like Klingberg. You know, he can let off a little bit and let Klingberg, you know, put up some numbers uh, because he's already got that long-term deal in there. Riley doesn't have to impress anybody with his offensive numbers, even though he still will. He'll put up good numbers, but he doesn't have that weight on him like, oh, I have to be all the offense from the back end. No, Klingberg is going to do some of that. And even a guy like Timmins and Lilligren, both of those guys can put up good numbers. Like Lilligren actually had pretty decent offensive numbers. So Riley, very important this year. He's going to have to come in. He's going to have to impress and uh, hopefully you guys do agree with me. And that's why I want you guys to sound off in the comments. If you're new here, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Join the squad. Let me know what you guys think about Morgan Riley. And uh, again, use my code APH at Manscaped for 20% off and free shipping. You got to do it this week, like in the next couple days. Uh, because after that, I, th I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. But it's going to help me long term. It could potentially keep me going potentially at a full-time rate. So make sure to use it, APH on Manscaped for 20% off and free shipping. I love and appreciate you guys as always, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video or stream. Peace.